dear students in today's class i am going to perform one activity which is related to a seed germination in this activity we will learn what are the conditions required for the seed germination so let's see the conditions which are required for the seed germination are water sunlight air soil and warmth warmth means temperature a correct temperature is required for the growth of new plant now what i'm going to do now i have a seed this is a gram seed okay so now i'm going to put this seed inside the soil so what will happen what do you think will it grow into a new plant i don't think so why because this seed is getting the soil and the air but this soil this seed is unable to get the sunlight and water so let's what we will do we will bring the sun over here so now this seed is getting the sun so will it grow now no so one more condition is is not fulfilled what what is that now we have a water now i am going to give water to this seed so now after 2 3 days what will happen this seed will grow so now this you can see what is this this is the sprout okay now after a few more days what will happen if the seed will get the conditions what will happen this seed will develop a root okay so this portion what is this this is a radical okay this one this one is the radical what will happen this radical will develop into a root as you can see over here this radical has developed this radical has turned into a root now i'm going to label it okay so this is the root now this one is the seed coat okay here you can see this is the cotyledon and this one is the seed coat now what will happen after a few more days now what will happen after a few more days this inside this cotyledon the baby plant will come out these are the new leaves which are getting developed from this cotyledon now after a few more days what will happen this will okay now here now you can see these cotyl from this cotyledon the new plant has come out now after few more days like after a month what will happen the flower will come out of it so now we have seen what are the different conditions required by a seed to develop into a new plant that's all for today's